Alright fellas, how you are doing? Thank you for tuning in. I hope it's going well. I hope you guys are having a great evening, morning, wherever you guys are viewing this video from. I hope it's all going well. And I just want to quickly say if you guys haven't checked out my previous video, that's a discussion about the new Destiny update. So if you guys are interested in that, be sure to go check that out. That would be greatly appreciated. But without further ado, let's get into this Halo 5 news update. So, we all know that there's going to be bosses in the Warzone game mode, right? So Promethean and Covenant bosses. But apparently, fellas, it's going to be normal and legendary bosses. Normal bosses are going to give you guys 25 points. And legendary bosses are going to give you guys 100. Now, why is this so special, fellas? Why am I talking about this? Well, killing a legendary boss in Warzone, a legendary enemy boss, gives you 100 points. That is equivalent to 25 Spartan kills. 25 Spartan kills. Fellas, that is insane. And now let's discuss this a bit. So how I see this is if you're working with your team, if you're taking out these bosses, that is going to give you a better chance of winning than if you just take out enemies and capture objectives. That's just how I see it, fellas. Or it's going to be more of a thing like you and your team aim to kill the bosses. Like they are actually something you kind of need to do. And capturing objectives as well. And killing enemy Spartans is just kind of something to do kind of if they get in the way, if you guys kind of get what I mean by that, so you obviously do get points for killing Spartans obviously, like enemy Spartans, but how I see it is if you're capturing objectives and killing enemy bosses in this war zone, then I'm saying that that is a better chance to win, if you guys kind of get what I mean by that, but be sure to let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below about this, and also there's going to be these enemies called minions, that they are actually going to protect these enemy bosses, and I'm pretty sure that they give you points as well, but I'm not 100% certain, and I got this information off various articles that I read on like 343 side and if you guys want to check out the Halo Follower channel be sure to go check that out, that's a great channel. Because I would never take credit in someone else's hard work, that's just sad fellas. Like if I find the information out myself then that's all good. But if I find it out from a, another source like another channel or an article or site, I'll be sure to let you guys know because I would never take credit for someone else's hard work, that is just sad. And there are channels out there that do that and don't even recognise other channels for finding the information out first. But that's a discussion for another video, fellas. But be sure to let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below about these Warzone bosses. It's be kind of interesting to see what you guys think. Stay safe, stay tuned. Have a great day. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. As I get that, oh, look at that grenade kill there. Oh, beast. Stay safe, stay tuned. And I'll see you, fellas, on the next one.